Rocket Pat here. All right, guys, it's another day in the jungle. All right, boys, we are working on a 2012 Toyota Tundra, and I want to talk to y'all about brake fluid and why you should not be adding brake fluid to your vehicle. This truck has, I don't know how many miles on it, but it's here for four-wheel brake job and a couple of shocks. Shocks aren't really what we're mattering about right now. But what we are talking about is that big ass puddle of brake fluid on my floor. And why you should not add brake fluid to your car. If you go up underneath the hood of your car, your truck, your SUV, your whatever the hell it may be, and you find that that brake fluid is low, the brake fluid's not low, it doesn't go anywhere, Unless you have a, a leak in the system, brake fluid does not get used up. It's not a consumable. You do not have to add more. What has happened is your brake fluid has gone from your reservoir into the caliper chambers. You see, when these pistons are pushed all the way out, you have to fill up behind the piston with brake fluid. That's why there's a reservoir on the master cylinder. It's not gonna go down unless you have a leak or it's in here. What you need to do before you add brake fluid to your master cylinder, you should never have to add that, ever. If everything's working fine, you should not have to add brake fluid. Period. Because you don't lose brake fluid as you drive. You just move it to another part of the vehicle. Now, everything was fine when I compressed these back calipers. And what I've done when you compress the back piston back in, you push the brake fluid up this hose and all the way back to the master cylinder. Now I've come up here to take care of the front brakes and I've got four big pistons up here in this particular caliper, all right? Now I've probably moved a half a quart from inside of here up through the system, up through this line, back to the master cylinder. Well, if somebody's already gone and filled that master cylinder back up to the top level, to the maximum level, when I push the fluid the other direction, it's gotta come out and go somewhere and it's on my floor. It's on my floor, it's up underneath the uh, the engine compartment of this vehicle, which now I have to go up there with brake clean and clean it. And I haven't even done the other side. I still got one more side over here that needs to be done. So again, I'm telling you guys, you do not need to add brake fluid to your vehicle. You are messing up by adding more brake fluid. What you need to do is have a qualified professional look at your brakes. Because chances are, when the brake fluid goes down on your reservoir, it's an indication that your brake pads are going metal to metal. Okay? I can't stress it enough. I get this all the time. We got metal to metal over here. And we would have known that this was a problem had we monitor our brake fluid up under the hood. It's not like engine oil. It's not going down because you're using it, losing it, or whatever. As long as that brake pedal feels fine and everything looks good, if that reservoir is almost to its lowest ca capacity level, it's because you need new brake pads. And also, if you're putting new pads on, don't chimp out and try to... Oh, I'm going to just cut the rotors. Well, I'm telling you right now, you cut these modern rotors and you're coming back in half a brake pad system and you are replacing those rotors because it's going to be shaking the whole front end. Replace the rotors when you replace your brake pads and you will have an A1 rocker pad brake job. Y'all keep rocking and rolling and rolling and rocking and quit filling your damn brake uh, reservoirs up. Check your brakes. Talk to y'all next time. I got a floor to clean up.